now we are talking about the causes of the shm okay what causes an shm what kind of force creates the shm all that discussion we will do here now let us first uh, analyze the oscillation what happens exactly you have this point o you can see that acceleration is always towards a mean position right when you go from when you go from o to p acceleration is this way p to o also acceleration this way and over here accelerations are this way so every time acceleration should be towards the mean position write down acceleration must be towards the mean position now if acceleration is towards the mean position the force is also towards the mean position because force is equal to mass times acceleration mass is just a constant so we need we need a force that pushes the mass towards the mean position always so when you go on the right hand side of mean position the force pushes towards o as in left hand side when you go left hand side away from the mean position the force pushes you on the right hand side towards the mean position so every time the force is trying to bring the mass at the mean position all right so the force is <clears throat> force is trying to restore the position of mass at o at the mean position this is what it is doing so this force is a special kind of force which does like this the name of this force is called restoring force okay i hope this is clear to everyone all of you clear now how much is the force at the mean position at mean position the value of force is how much it is zero because acceleration is zero the force is also zero okay so that is another way to define the mean position mean position is a equilibrium point equilibrium point and to tell you <clears throat> in a very uh, analytical way shm is nothing but a study of stable equilibrium it was in stable equilibrium at o It displays it slightly it comes back okay so the the thing is that even though there is a force that tries to restore it on the mean position it never stops at mean position why due to inertia due to inertia even though force is equal to zero at o it keeps moving all right so what will happen the force is trying to push it towards the mean position and as soon as force thinks that the object has reached the mean position force stops that yeah i have done my job but then it has mass it has velocity so it keeps moving away then force will be like oh it is going away from the mean position now so force will now start acting in opposite direction towards the mean position now as soon as the object reaches mean position 
force will withdraw itself force will become zero but then again due to the momentum it has it moves forward so it keeps on doing like this and that's how the shm gets created and this is the cause of the shm okay anyone has any doubt <clears throat> no doubts okay so <clears throat> we need a restoring kind of force and acceleration is omega square x minus of omega square x so force is equal to minus of m omega square x so we need a force we need a force that gets developed due to the displacement away from mean position when the object is at mean position all the forces were adding up to zero but as soon as you displace it little bit away from the mean position a force which looks like this should get developed what is this looks like means the force should be proportional to x okay force should be proportional to x and force should be in opposite direction of x that is why there is a minus sign okay suppose you displace the object this way the force should be in opposite direction of that displacement fine so the simplest possible scenario for the shm is simple uh, sorry is the spring block system all right so we will talk about the simplest scenario is spring block system that to horizontal so we'll first analyze this and then i will tell you the steps which you should use to solve all the questions uh, related to it so suppose this is a scenario all of you draw this this is the block spring constant k this is mass m all right this is smooth so how will you identify the mean position in this system everyone where is the mean position right now main position net force should be zero so how much is the extension in the spring at the main position everyone when the spring extension is zero okay that is a main position net force is zero so <clears throat> main position is right now itself now what i'll do is that i will displace the block by a distance of x and then release it so what will happen to the block where it will go it will go back towards the mean position like this so can you tell me what is the amplitude of oscillation it develops an oscillation is the amplitude of oscillation x only it is x because at extreme position velocity should be zero and it starts going towards a mean position so it never crosses this point x becomes your amplitude itself the initial displacement okay now suppose you displace by x the force that get developed is how much how much force get developed in the horizontal direction because of displacement don't know 
spring force if it spring get extended by x you don't know how much is a spring force everyone harsha what is a spring force aryan aryan jha what is a spring force harshini pranav aditya harshini pranav aditya and what is that name i have taken aryanja answer pranav aditya okay so the force is kx okay kx x is this way but force is in the opposite direction so if you write in a vector form it will be minus sign over here if this is a force acceleration is minus k by m times x now if you compare it with equation of shm you will automatically get omega to be under root of k by m and if this is omega time period is 2 pi under root of m by k so we have got time period of oscillation i hope this is clear to everyone anyone has any doubt type in quick else i move forward clear okay now we are going to discuss something very important because i am going to talk about the steps of solving problems okay write down steps don't skip these steps for at least 40 to 50 questions you will never learn to skip a step by skipping it you will only learn to skip the steps in the exam if you are following all these steps while practicing okay steps of problem solving as in what kind of problems i am talking about problems in which you are asked to find out the time period of oscillation the frequency of oscillation for a system and all those things fine they are very common most of the questions 80% of questions fall under this category on this chapter write down the first and foremost thing is identify <clears throat> identify the object that is performing shm you should know which object you are talking about i mean it will not be as simple as spring block system all the time okay it can be different types also second is identify the path of shm whether it is doing horizontal shm vertical shm inclined plane shm you need to identify that identify the path of simple harmonic motion okay then then what should i identify everyone what is the next thing to identify for an shm identify the mean position correct identify the mean position how you identify the mean position at the mean position the 
नेट फोर्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो अलोंग द एस एच एम पाथ अलोंग द पाथ ऑफ एस एच एम यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट एट वॉट लोकेशन नेट फोर्स इज जीरो नाउ इट मे साउंड वेरी सिंपल एंड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बट समाइम्स इट इज नॉट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टेल यू दैट आई एम कॉन्स्टेंटली अप्लाइंग अ फोर्स ऑन दिस ब्लॉक एफ एफ इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स लेट से देन एट मीन पोजिशन स्प्रिंग इज नॉट इन इट्स नेचुरल लेंथ एट मीन पोजिशन नेट फोर्स शुड बी जीरो सो एफ इज इक्वल टू के एक्स नॉट यू हैव टू से दैट एट अ मीन पोजिशन स्प्रिंग इज ऑलरेडी एक्सटेंडेड नेट फोर्स शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो दिस फोर्स प्लस स्प्रिंग फोर्स शुड बी जीरो okay but since we had taken a simpler the system i didn't include that constant force but we'll see that in some of the examples so you identify the need uh, mean position and then what you do is that displace displace the object by a small distance x away from mean position okay along the path of shm your x is amplitude automatically because as soon as you release it it will run towards the mean position fifth you need to then identify net unbalanced force see you need do, don't need to mug up all of this that you, you wake up in the morning and start <laughs> mugging up step number 1 is this 2 is this 3 is this no 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 even if you ask me to write it again i may write in in a different manner all you have to do is that align your thought process like this when you solve let's say five or 10 questions initially look at these steps one by one follow it and then next 30 40 question you will automatically follow these steps and after that you don't need to remember it automatically you will be doing it yourself identify the fifth step is identifying net unbalanced force due to the displacement this is very important okay what happens is that before you displace it net force is zero even though there are forces let's say external forces are there they were all adding up to zero okay so once you displace it you need to find out due to the displacement how much force is coming up the extra force that comes because of the displacement is the net force because earlier anyway it was zero okay it was like earlier you had 5 5 minus y was the net force due to the displacement some extra force is coming up so your net force is this extra force only earlier anyways net force was zero so don't start calculating all the forces again one by one you just need to focus on how much extra force is coming because of the displacement only so we'll take examples we'll discuss what does it mean actually then if it is an shm net force must be towards the mean position okay mean position and proportional to the displacement x fine this is a must if you displace it slightly and the object keeps on moving in the same direction once you release it it doesn't come back then it is not an shm okay next is compare acceleration with this and you will get time period as 2 pi by omega 
so these are the steps which you should follow for all the questions consciously or subconsciously okay i'll move forward all of you written it all right fine so let's take few questions and see how we can use it suppose you have a spring block system we will be taking simple systems only today spring block system but the spring is vertical now mass is m and spring constant is k okay you need to follow all these steps and get the value of time period of the shm okay try doing it yourself that is the best thing that you can do don't wait for me to write down and you copy it at at the mean position will the spring be extended or not this block is doing shm path of shm is vertical these things are straight forward we'll do shm like this at the mean position let's say this is the mean position itself net force should be zero so this is mg and this is initial extension is x not let's say kx not so at mean position kx not minus mg is equal to zero so you will get x not <clears throat> basically we don't need to do all of this but i am doing it so that you understand everything now what is the next step what should i do what should i do next 
displaced by x. So let's say I have displaced the object by x down here. So what is the force that comes in because of the displacement? Everyone, when I displace it by x, the force because of displacement is kx or kx plus x naught. Initial extension was x naught. Force because of displacement is kx or kx plus x naught. Everyone. K x naught was anyway there. It doesn't need a displacement of x. Because of x displacement, k x is the only force. But if you're like, no, I'll find out the total net force, then you can do that. Total net force is k x plus x naught minus mg. Mg is also there then. If you take k x naught, even mg is there. So this is equal to k x plus k x naught minus mg k x naught minus mg was zero earlier itself so net force is k x so you could have written k x directly that's what my point is at mean position anyways net force is zero so extra force that comes in because of displacement is the net force so k x is a net force which is equal to mass time acceleration <clears throat> So in a vector form, A is equal to minus K by M times X. So it will be good to see that time period still remains the same as if it is horizontal. So it doesn't matter whether your spring is horizontal or vertical, the time period remains this only. Is it clear to everyone? Type in. All of you type in, is it clear? Okay, so now let's do one more. In fact, the second part is all about problem solving. There is no more theory now. It's all numericals going forward. That's how class 11th is. Even the 12th is like that. So make up your mind like this. The main work is solving numerical. Main work is not knowing the theory. This is M. There is this wedge which is fixed. spring constant is k find out the time period of oscillation for this it'd be way better if you can do it yourself try doing it for two three minutes The question is find the time period of oscillation for the mass M, which is 
placed as shown. Initial extension in the spring is how much? <clears throat> this is the path of oscillation. Okay, all of you tried. Anyone about to get the answer? No one? Okay, Archit got. So there will be initial extension in the spring, but do I need to find out that? Do I really need that? We don't need that. Because at that location, the net force is zero. But then if you are very curious, you can spend some time on it to get it. This is mg sine theta. <clears throat> and there will be a spring force backwards. Along the path of SHM, when mg sine theta and kx, they balance out. This is what it is, x naught is equal to mg sine theta by k. This is the initial extension, okay? Now, when you displace the object by distance of x further, okay? The spring force is actually k x plus x naught. But I don't care about the earlier spring force. I only care about the extra force. Because the total force now will be k x plus x naught minus mg sine theta, which will become k x only. All right. One thing which is very important to understand in these questions, where I have seen many uh, students make error, is that this x people sometimes take it as extension in the spring. X is not extension the spring. X is distance away from the mean position. Okay, so remember that. Now, 
total force is kx which is equal to m into a exactly same thing comes again k by m times x so time period is 2 pi under root m by k so surprisingly the spring block system doesn't matter how it is kept time period will be always this it doesn't even depend on gravity even if gravity is not there you will have this so that is why people say that when you are in a space you should not use the pendulum clocks you should use spring block system clocks wherein time period is measured by the oscillation of spring block all right so this is the spring block system now talking about the spring do you remember we discussed about the uh, combination of spring have we discussed about it have, do you remember it like i have discussed it combination of spring series and parallel do you remember in work pa energy chapter yes i have done it so you can revisit your notes if you have made it you know recently i have found out some of the students they were not making notes they were just putting the headphone and sitting in front of the laptop and just you know just like a some serial is going on they just listen it and then that's all and they then they don't even do the assignment directly come and write the test so if you if you don't follow some basics why are you getting disappointed if you do not get marks in the exam my simple question is that okay if you follow the basics then if you're not getting uh, exam marks then i can discuss with you and find out what is wrong okay but if you are doing your basics wrong then i cannot help you no one can help okay so you should make notes not because uh, you know it is a common practice that is why i should do it you should make notes because it's well known that if you write something down you understand more about it it means that you care about it your mind will care about it if you just listen don't bother to write anything or you just start taking photographs of the screen ask yourself how many times you have looked back on is photographs of your screen it's i mean forget about photograph your screen have you looked back on your photos which you have took maybe one year before when you go somewhere for sightseeing you take the photograph you are totally busy taking photographs but do you ever watch it after one year you forget about it okay so don't follow those practices which are sure shot failures okay there is no substitute for hard work don't look for shortcuts that is like the first step towards the disaster if you start looking for shortcuts anyways coming back to combination of springs the first combination is a parallel combination how will you identify that it is a parallel combination parallel combination looks like this so if i replace two spring with a single spring what will be the spring constant k equivalent will be what k equivalent is equal to k1 plus k2 okay and even this is the parallel combination wherein you have a block like this k1 
K2 and M. In this case also K equivalent is K1 plus K2. Okay, both are parallel combination only. B, series combination. Series combination looks like this. This is K1, K2, this is M. In this case, one by K equivalent is equal to one by K1 plus one by K2. All right, so just remember this and there is a, uh, the spring law. Sometimes uh, in questions, you'll see that they cut the spring into half or they reduce the length of the spring. So spring law is that spring constant into length of the spring is fixed. If you cut the spring into half, a spring constant will double. All right. So these are the few things you should be knowing it. Otherwise you'll get stuck in the problems. At least the spring block system I'm talking about. Clear to everyone? Anyone has any doubt? Type in. Okay, clear. So, now we are again back to the problems. Suppose this is a situation. Spring constant K, this distance is L. Now the surface is smooth. This is the wall which is elastic. Elastic collision will happen from that wall. This block is thrown forward with velocity V. Okay. So can you look at it and tell me, will the motion be periodic or not? It's motion will be periodic or not. It goes, hits the spring, compresses it, comes back, goes there, hits the wall, comes here, hits it. Will it be a periodic motion or not? It will be periodic motion. You have to find out the time period of it. Time period of the one complete periodic motion. But it is not an oscillation. It is not an SHM. Okay, because one part is spring block, other part is a linear velocity.
do you all agree with whatever i have written here it goes a to b compresses the spring goes up to the extreme point c and then comes back and when it comes back it leaves the spring moves forward with the same velocity comes here hits the wall and then reverses so it has traveled a b distance then b to c then c to b and then b to a and a to b and b to a these two distances constant speed is there b to c and c to b if i add both of them it become part of shm how much part of shm it is one time period one third one and a half one fourth how much as shm has happened this is what part of the shm b to c and c to b they are half of the shm for full shm time period is 2 pi under root m by k for any spring block system so ab and ba 2l distance covered by speed v so 2l by v plus half of the shm this is the answer this is the time period of the entire periodic motion okay now uh, our focus was mainly on spring block system right now because that is the most common there are other situations also let's quickly take one of that today we have 15 minutes we'll take that without spring can we have shm and yes there are many many situations for shm one of that is this you have a bucket full of liquid liquid has a density of rho okay you have a cube which is floating on it okay here is a cube it doesn't look like a cube now so this is a cube of density sigma and side length side length is a okay when you displace it slightly when you displace it slightly down and leave it it start performing shm up and down find out the time period of the shm all of you find out time period of the oscillation if you follow all the steps one by one there is no reason why you will not get the answer
All right. Arjit and Gayatri got half. Oh, that was previous. Anyone close to the answer? Anyone close? Initially, it will be submerged by a distance of, let's say, x naught. And because it is floating, right, so sigma has to be less than rho. Anybody got x naught initial? Uh, how much it is submerged? All you have to do is equate the gravity force and Bowen force. Bowen force is rho volume is a square x naught into g okay so when rho a square x naught g minus mg is what sigma into a cube g sigma into a cube is mass this is equal to zero so x naught is sigma a by rho but do i need to find out x naught no not required because x naught is corresponding to a point where net force is zero. Okay. Now, when you displace it by a distance of x, let's say displace it by a distance of x, can you find out the net force because of the displacement? What is the net force because of the displacement? Everyone, do it yourself. Tell me. Okay, Archit got something. Will there be an extra buoyant force because of the displacement? Because of displacement, there will be extra volume that goes inside the water or the liquid, which is this. How much extra volume goes down? How much extra liquid get displaced? A square into X. This is the extra volume that got displaced. So the extra buoyant force that get developed is rho a square into x into g sorry so the net force is this only rho a square x into g this is a net force in upward direction this should be equal to mass m acceleration sigma into a cube is mass into acceleration i'll take capital a for acceleration small a is the edge length all of you able to follow this Type in acceleration is equal to rho by uh, sigma into a into x in vector form. There will be minus sign because a and x are in opposite direction. Can you explain the second part? Where is the second part? This one. When I displace it down by a distance of x, extra volume that get displaced is a square x. A square is the surface area that into the displacement down is the volume that got removed. A square x volume is displaced. That volume displaced corresponds to the extra buoyant force. So rho v g is the extra buoyant force. So the net force is the extra force that comes in earlier net force was zero anyways. Okay. Or if you are very uh, careful, you can write down the net force as rho a square x plus x naught g. This is the net buoyant force minus mg. This is equal to mass m acceleration. That way, if you write, then also this thing is zero. So using this equation, again, it get reduced to this only. Andashur Shabda. Now you compare 
a is equal to minus omega square x and omega will come out to be root over is there should be g somewhere this is g uh, root over rho g by sigma a shraddha is it clear time period is 2 pi by omega root over sigma a by rho g okay this is the way you solve this and this is from your textbook unsolved problem ncert the last question is this only which we have solved don't think that this is advanced level or whatever it is this is school level okay so i think uh, this is what i wanted to cover today we have 4 minutes you can ask me any doubt anything related to whatever we have done today please type in your doubts quickly from anywhere i can discuss anything but i'll not let you go early tell me all of you anything from anywhere cannot happen that you don't have any doubts <laughs> okay it is surprising 40 students no doubt energy as a cause of sshm will be doing next class abey we are talking about something we have done today ask doubts on that is that a doubt have you learned everything whatever we have discussed here i am not taking your name but you should understand that is not a relevant question if we have string instead of spring will there be shm dekho the string should be elastic okay then only you may have shm okay the spring uh, elastic string is different from spring because when you stretch it it behave like a spring but it can't get compressed tension will become zero so string is a little uh, tricky to deal with okay if you have this kind of situation you know something like this one elastic string is from let's say this side and one elastic string from this side one string one string should always be extended then only it will be an shm okay a single string like this won't create an shm okay all right so in the next class somebody was asking what we will be doing that was his doubt so next we'll be doing energy all right and we will be talking about the potential energy kinetic energy and we will basically have enough time to do the uh, uh, force oscillation and damped oscillation as well so next class probably we will complete the chapter itself fine this is what is the plan and uh, i have observed that uh, the batch previous to you from nps rajaji nagar they were doing lot much lot much harder work than you guys are doing currently okay and that is a fact you can check i think ritu can uh, vouch for the fact no because uh, her uh, brother was with us into but he was 2 years before so someone uh, like archit might be knowing his brother and his brother might be knowing the other batchmate so you can talk to him how much hard work they used to do so i have seen that uh, you know lit, I, i'm not saying completely uh, the hard work is missing but i'm just comparing the two batches okay so uh, don't look for shortcuts 
i have not seen um, you know there are few students who are continuously not doing homework week after week it is all uh, going to pile up and later on uh, nobody can help even i cannot help you and then uh, you'll be at a sorry stage that we cannot help so don't create uh, that uh, problem to yourself follow the uh, lecture follow the pace of the class you have seen that whatever i was saying that we are just done with the curriculum just before your final exam so you don't have time for first i will finish the syllabus and then you sit and finish your and it won't happen that way you will not get time it is not like class 9th and 10th where if teacher finishes the curriculum then you get 5 months to finish yourself that won't happen okay so still there is some time to change your attitude towards studies make sure you follow the class it's very very important to complete things in time for 11th and 12th okay it's extremely important i cannot emphasize this enough you don't want to make a mistake which you cannot correct later on i have seen at least 10 years of people passing out i am telling you that all right so that's it from my side we will meet next week happy holidays enjoy but don't forget to do your assignments okay bye for now